What's up guys, Tao here. First of all, thank you very much for tuning in my last Apple TV video I did a while ago. There were so many comments regarding on the peer-to-peer -peer airplay between the Apple devices. Now, the aim of today's video is hoping to answer some of the questions you guys had and also hoping along the setup procedure, we'll show you some tips and tricks of the Apple TV. So let's dive right in. Alright, now I have the Apple TV connected to the TV. Let's just start the very first question. Can you set up the Apple TV without active internet connection? Now let's just go through that. Uh, select language. One thing to know that the most easy way or the simplest way, the easiest way to set up Apple TV is use your current iPhone, iPad or your Apple devices uh, use the quick start to set up Apple TV. So that will automatically transfer your Apple information or Apple ID information to the TV. So this is the simplest way. Let me just quickly show you. Here's my iPhone, I logged in. So once you put your phone, connect to the Apple TV and select use device. Now on my phone, set up new Apple TV window will pop up. Now this is the simplest, the easiest way. However, we are not going to do this. We're going to set it up manually just to answer that question. Can you set up Apple TV without internet connection? Now here's the Wi-Fi network. Uh, we're not going to use any of those. Uh, use other. Now here is, if you know the network name, connect to it. However, there's no other options for you to bypass this. So yeah, you could use the Ethernet port at the back, but that's defeat the whole point of answering that question. So the answer is you cannot set up Apple TV without active internet connection. The second frequently asked question was which Apple TV supports AirPlay video and sound? Now the Apple TV Generation 3 with identifier A1469 or above with the latest tvOS update supports the visual and sound or audio uh, airplay. So anything uh, below the Generation 3 A1469 and Generation 2 technically support the airplay audio only but not visual. The third question is, can you set up Apple TV with your personal hotspot. Now, here are my phone. Uh, my personal hotspot is off now. Let me just turn it on. And take, pay attention to the top left corner of my phone. As soon as it turns blue, that means the Apple TV is connected to my phone. And also this window, this screen on the TV, it should disappear. Go to the next uh, setup window. Uh, let's just wait and see when it's connected. Now it's blue and it should, let me just see. Now, just go straight to the Apple ID setup. That means the Apple uh, TV is connected to my phone. The way to check, here's my control center. You press and hold Bluetooth. See here, personal hotspot, one connection. Uh, so, which is right now, uh, the Apple TV is connected to it. From here on, you can just go through the on-screen instruction. Now here, I'm gonna skip this step and just go ahead. Uh, where's my living room? Location service, uh, disable right now. And time zone, let me just see if it works. London, great. And London, England, automatic, not now because just demonstration, I will just go through this very quickly. Term and condition, you cannot disagree, otherwise you cannot use Apple TV. Voila, here it is. Apple TV is set up with personal hotspot. Fourth question, a lot of comments saying, can I watch YouTube, can I watch Netflix, can I watch Amazon Prime, all those streaming services, especially paid streaming services, uh, can I use with the peer-to-peer -peer airplay. Now, this is a very, very tricky question. 
Let me just do a very quick demonstration. Now, to use the peer-to-peer -peer AirPlay for video and sound, and make sure the Bluetooth is on. So my Bluetooth is on. And also on the Apple TV. Now, if you guys watch the first video, you might not know this, but for you guys who tune in on this video very, very first time, let me just quickly show you. Go to the AirPlay setting. Now, AirPlay is on. Allow access. Make sure it's select to everyone otherwise you might not be able to use it so if you choose anyone on the same network because it's not connected to the network so you can't use it so make sure allow access to everyone now on your phone or iPad or Apple oh, go away other Apple devices go away and you go into control center here is a screen mirroring. So you click on that. That will look for Apple TV because this Apple TV give as a living room. So you tap on living room. It will connect to the living room. So 2565 is the code 2565. So now it is connected to my phone. I don't think it is work. It, it doesn't work. So it's a kind of, it's basically, it does everything my phone does, but on the big screen, I, I can open a Instagram. Yep. And I can open my YouTube studio, my dashboard. And there we go. And also I can open Safari. So now here, the last search, it was how many devices you can be connected to the personal hotspot. Well, turns out the answer is five. So yeah, that works. And my pictures, they all work. And anything else? Okay, so essentially you can use the phone as normal. However, so a lot of people experience or asking, can I watch YouTube? Can I watch Amazon Prime or can I watch Netflix? First thing, here is the YouTube. And uh, go through my library, going to, let's see, my channel. Here's the video I did. Now, right now, none of them are connected to the active internet. So if I tap on my video, it's connected to AirPlay, it's trying to play. However, it does not want to play. So if you tap on that, you can see the speaker and TVs. Now it is connected to the living room, but it just does not want to play. So the answer is no, YouTube will not work with peer-to-peer -peer AirPlay without active internet connection. Now let's try Amazon Prime. I have here Amazon Prime video. Now for all of you fanboys or football fans, um, Amazon Prime right now is doing the uh, Premier League. Um, for those of you, it's gonna be very excited, I think. But now let's just try one of them, say, uh, Amazon Original, The Grand Tour, Episode 1, will it play? Nope, it does not want to do it. Now, I'm going to try to download this episode just to see if actually play off my phone. A few moments later. Now, I have downloaded on my phone and disconnected the Wi-Fi, and then let's see if it plays. It's an animated to play, play through AirPlay. Do you want to stream it? Okay, here we go. Here answer all your questions. So if you do want to AirPlay the Amazon Prime, uh, the streaming does not work. And if you downloaded any movies or TV series, when you want to go through the AirPlay, 
it simply will not work. It asks you to stream. So here's this download is unavailable to play through AirPlay. Do you want to stream it using devices internet connection? And uh, no. So the answer is Prime, uh, Prime Video, no. I just had a thought. So what if we watch YouTube through Chrome browser? Will that work? Uh, let's see, request. Okay, let's open a new tab. Oh, hello. It's actually open the mobile site within Chrome. Okay. Will it work? Holy sh... Aya. Oh. It's not very good. The answer is yes and no. And no is you can't really stream it through the app, but the workaround is you open YouTube with browser and request, request a desktop site and watch YouTube clip through the browser. And this way will work, but there is a downside which you cannot have a full screen, you won't get the best experience, but this will work. A new discovery. In terms of other video services or video streaming services, for example, Netflix, or maybe any other major streaming services, you might not be able to stream uh, from the phone to the uh, TV via the Apple TV. Now, a lot of users saying that Netflix won't work, um, Sky Go definitely won't work as far as I know and the BD Sport because you need to pay to stream onto a big screen. So in a nutshell, if there is streaming services, very likely you are not be able to do it uh, through this way. However, I would encourage you to use the browser setting, uh, maybe watch them through the browser, maybe you are you know, lucky enough to make it work. So if you guys who use them, please leave the comment down below and uh, just let other users know if it works or not, so other users can have the benefit of doubt. Now, there are a few things I normally do when I have an Apple TV set up. Uh, apart from this Apple TV remote, I normally try using the TV remote just to see if they work, just in case this is misplaced or uh, broken or just somewhere I just cannot find it. So I still have other method of controlling the Apple TV. For example, uh, I'm using the TV remote to control the Apple TV. It works flawlessly. And also, if you have a Apple devices, you can use the Apple TV app, which you can find there. Now, if it's not on the control center, you can go into setting and enable it. So it's in the setting. And also, if you have Apple Watch as well, you can control Apple TV with your Apple Watch. Now, all of the settings is just in case you misplace your actual remote. To use other remote, other than your TV remote and Apple TV app, uh, you can use other remote as well, uh, the third party ones. So the setting, you can go to a remote and devices and you go into learn remote. Now, this is where you can use a third-party remote. It's really, really handy if you cannot find your actual remote. All right, that's been it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully you guys learned something you didn't know about, especially for those of you who is the first Apple TV, uh, first-time Apple TV user. If you have any questions, please leave the comment down below. Hopefully, me and other TV, Apple TV users can answer that. And if we can answer it, we find out together. See you in the next video.